okay so today we are going to discussing about uh, how to upload internal table data into application server path like l11 and to display l grid so now i am going to open my remote desktop here so i have already uh, open uh, the report program in editor so here first of all i am going to create the selection screen so here i am going to create a selection screen how we are going to create the selection screen so here we are going to queue selection screen begin of instead of screen we are going to use block b1 okay so i need to give the frame title with the frame title you can give like a text 001 now next selection screen end of block selection screen end of block instead of screen we are going to give the block here i am going to use b1 so in this selection screen block i am going to take one select option select option so here i am going to use kunar s underscore kunar for so i am going to fetch the data from the knya1 table knya1 kunar as well as i am going to take uh, one check box and uh, one path like a input parameter so here i am going to take the parameter p underscore path type string now i am going to take another parameter the checkbox like p underscore test s checkbox so here i am going to save here i am going to check i am going to there is one qnnr 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 okay here we need to declare the tables because kna1 now check activate here and execute here so here so then automatically customer name is our path and text user input has been coming how it is going to be just double click on here so you can see we are given the like user input and in the selection text we are going to give like server path and text and customer number so anybody easily can understand now next i am going to write a select query to fetch the data from the internal from the database table okay so here i am going to use select star from kna1 i am going to fetch all the data into table so here we are going to use the new syntax like inline declaration at the rate data here i am going to give the like internal table lt underscore data here i am going to use the where condition here based on kunar like a customer number we are going to fetch the data so here we are going to give kunar in so whatever we are going to pass the select query in the selection screen you nr so for example if you pass two in the select option the two is going to be um pass this particular select query we are going to fetch the internal table so that's the different um, video is available uh, so like uh, with another video so we have explained how it's going to be work with internal tables so in this video i am going to show you to display our internal table in elvigrid so here here we are going to use if Size sub r c equal to zero, and if data is available, then only it's going to be uh, display the data. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, display some message. Okay, here for an example p underscore test. Whenever we are going to use the 
enable the checkbox then only it's going to be display a map true else in this condition we are simply right if the checkbox is not activated then automatically upload the data into our application server here i am going to use function module called reuse ALV grid display in this display so here we have a exporting parameters uncommented exporting here there is uncommented this line also callback program here we are going to use SYC program means it's a current program whenever we are going to execute this program then automatically it's going to be activated this function module now here we are going to pass the structure name we are going to uncommented the structure name here i am going to give like a kn1 now we are going to pass internal table also like yeah here t underscore out, out tab what is our internal table lt underscore data let me check once see lt underscore data so now it's going to display sometimes they are not required to display lv grid display simply we're going to pass the data into lv 11 like application server so here yeah for an example uh, if you want to copy something one file to another file or one word file to another word file simply you can copy and we have to open the word and we have to copy it and we have to save it we need to close it the same concept we need to use here also here we are going to use open data set lv file name okay for output in text mode encoding default so here we need to declare the lv file name how we are going to declare for an example we need to take one file name the same thing here also for an example here data lv file name type string we need to declare the string the value is we need to give that particular path where we need to save simply you can say how we'll check go to sc11 or a11 supplication layer here for example you can take any directory depending on your requirement so here i am going to select um, yeah here i am going to the path simply copy the text here paste it remove these things so instead of forward slash we are going to use backward slash be careful otherwise it's not working properly src now today dot txt okay so here uh yeah here i am going to take one more string 
so here i am going to take lv string i will tell you why, why i am going to take this particular thing type string this one also string so i have a file i have file path now i have a data in the internal table so i have opened that particular file name i have opened that particular file name now i need to transfer our internal table data into our file how we are going to do so first of all i am going to open the file if size sub rc equal to 0 okay and if so if file is available then only open otherwise it's not going to open that's why you're going to use if size of rc equal to 0 so we have already declared that particular file name and file path so where we can find just double click on here okay so just this is our file path so now we have a data into the internal table so here we are going to use loop pet what is the data loop pet our internal table lt underscore data into our wakaya can simply declare lw underscore data so end loop so for an example in our internal table there is a 20 records we are going to loop the 20 times so we are getting the data into work area now i am going to concatenate i am going to concatenate concatenate lw underscore data here i am going to take kunar and lw underscore data uh, here i am going to take ort01 like a city the customer name on city customer number city so meanwhile i'm going to show you so here i am going to concatenate into lv underscore string so we already declared into top declaration so here lv string separated by the comma okay after we are going to transfer the lv string data into lv file lv transfer our lv string to lv file name i have opened the file file name now next i am going to take the internal table to work area that work area is going to comp concatenate into the particular string with separated by the comma then that particular string to transfer lb file name i have opened i have copied and i have pasted then next i am going to close this particular data set close data set lv underscore file name that's it so here yeah now i am going to take simple message data has been uploaded successfully type successful message so here yeah simply i'm going to save i'm going to see so now i'm going to check so one here whenever we are going to use inline declaration we need to give at the red symbol the selection screen select options select query save check and activate here 
so I am going to execute here. I am going to pass the customer number. So here I am going to execute here. See data has been uploaded successfully. We will check the data. Going to A11. We are going to open the source. Is this so? So here, see 27, 12, 20, 22, 10, 28, 40, 48 seconds. There is a today dot txt. You can see the data. So this is the customer number and this is the city name. So my intention, I need to display the data. So here I'm going to back here. So here I'm going to execute again. So in this time I'm going to display the data only. I did not do upload the data into the A11. Simply I'm going to execute here. You can see the data into LV grid uh, level. Okay. So for example, I uncheck this particular text. Simply I'm going to execute again. So data has been uploaded successfully. Now whatever the data is going to be uploaded our application server like a11 path. OK, thank you guys. More updates. Please subscribe our channel. If you have any doubts, please comment in this video. I'll try to reply. Thank you guys.